Hello guys, have a nice day. So today I'm going to demonstrate on how to paint gomamilla flower. Uh, it has a, a, a yellowish on its petal and center medius color. So first of all, I'm going to introduce to you my materials. I have here my paint palette. Uh, this is the titanium white, the cob tatalo blue, the, the medium yellow, the brilliant red, the lamp black, and the uh, uh, burn china. Um, these are my my brushes. I'm using the number zero round brush, pointed brush. Um, number one flat brush. Number six, number six, uh, flat brush, no, one inch flat brush, and this round, number twelve brush, number four, number four, uh, flat brush, and this is my canvas, twelve by twelve inches. I made myself and I staple it on the plywood, and this is. Um, the cup of water is my medium okay so let's start with the uh, sketching first so I'm gonna sketch the the gomamela flower using the using the burn china paint um, by the way the the flower I have a reference photo on it and I photograph it with myself So there's no worry of copyright thing. Okay, I'm going to use the burn china to for the sketching. You can use a uh, pencil or any kind of material for your sketch. So today I'm just using the the burn china. I'm gonna paint the petal first so I think this is going to put the the center of flower on this area okay I don't want to copy the exact reference because it might take me um, a long time to do that so I just want to get the idea on how the flower looks or how the petals should be or how it looks like I will be adding the link of the finished painting on the description box so that if you want to copy or or follow this tutorial you can you can download the photo or or the photo of the painting Okay, I think that's looks cool. Looks good. I'm gonna add the uh, the pollen. Okay. And some leaves here. Okay, so I think that looks nice, and I'm going to start the the detailing or the details of this flower.
So I think I'm gonna make a good proportion for it first before I start. I think that's enough. So I'm going to I'm going to start the the background first. Okay, I'm going to use the green. So I'm going to mix the blue. I'm going to put it this way. Sorry. I mean yellow. With a little red. And I think I'm gonna use the bigger brush. The one inch flat brush. I think it's hard to use this brush. Just doing the the background colors or the base color, so it's okay if you, if you put any kind of or what color you're going to put in it. I think I'm gonna use the the round brush. It's better. This is the round brush on uh, number fourteen, number twelve. Okay. So I think I'm just painting the flower now. So I'm not gonna include the the leaves blue and red okay I'm gonna make it lighter Lighter violet color. Okay, darker. More green, blue, yellow, a little red. As you observe, guys, I don't have one color on it, so I'm going to add as many colors as I want, and it's nice playing with the paints. blue white okay so this is just the the background colors guys the base color 
okay so I'm going to add the yellow background color this petals so I'm going to use the yellow careful not to mix it with greens with blue so that it won't turn to green okay I like this yellow it's very bright Each petal has a little um, curve features. Okay. If you like my tutorial guys, please uh, hit the like button, comment, and please subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. And if you want to see my paintings, please visit my website www.jmlasondra.com you will, you will see my, lots of my works there. So this is just the best, the best colors guys or the first coats of the wind or, or the flower. So I think we're gonna let this dry first before we start the, the details. So before doing that, I think I'm gonna... Okay, it's dry. So I think I'm gonna... Refine the background. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use again the green, the yellow, the red. A lot more details in the petals. It has some um, curves features, so I'm gonna add it here. Okay. add the white for the lighter color okay
Okay. Just have to blend the color. Just add water, guys, if you wanna blend it. Okay. Adding more here. You can actually use a bigger brush for this guys so that you can finish it faster or you may use a flat brush or, uh, or a round brush as long as it's bigger than this one. Adding more details. So again here I'm going to add more yellow and blue. Add a little red, more yellow. Um, this is the gumamela leaves and I'm going to refine it later. Okay, more. Gumamela is um, really common in, in tropical countries like the Philippines. And I think in English it's called hibiscus. And here in the Philippines call it gumamela. So just follow me guys if you want to paint with me. Just follow what I'm doing here on the on this painting. So for now I'm just blending the backgrounds on the leaves. So it's not yet the final not yet the final output of the background. So I'm adding some blurry blurry effect of the leaves so I think I'm gonna leave it like that I want to emphasize the flower so I think that's better I'm going to add the pinkest color of this of the center of the flower so I think it's a pink or a little red violet so I just 
figuring it out so I'm gonna use the red with white yeah I think it's pink just red and white just have to follow me guys so this is how I did, am doing it using the number 4 flat brush a simple tips guys for an improvement so you just have to keep on practicing keep using your brush uh, blending some colors and practice it every day so that you will you will make use of it and you will know how to use it and you will know the right kind of mixing the right amount and it's a great help for uh, for your improvements okay another mix so later I'm going to add more darker red color on this on this layer so that it will become more dark or darker okay I'm using the the edge of the brush to make um, a very pointed edge so it helps a lot you can actually use um, um, round pointed brush for this job so I am comfortable with the with the flat brush so I'm using it now so it's all up to you if you're where you're going to be comfort comfortable okay okay so we have now the flowers so it's really clear now the details so I'm gonna add some a lighter uh, pink here so I'm gonna add more white to the pink Okay. 
I just added it layers by layers. the acrylic dries fast so it's advantage to add it um, layers by layers as I'm saying okay Okay, and now I'm going to add the red or the darker. So I'm going to use the red. Uh, add it here. Okay. Okay, and also here. So this is the flowers pollen. And I'm gonna mix a uh, darker or lighter red. So I'm gonna add white. Lighter. Okay, so next I'm gonna add some dark in the center of the flower. So I think I'm gonna use the black and red or I'm gonna use the black, okay, that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna paint red in the pollens, pollen stem. So I'm gonna use the red and uh, white. Okay. So I think later I'm gonna add some highlights to make it more visible or I'm just making this part a little dark the yellow and white ok 
aquí. Can add more white highlights. Okay. More highlights here. also here just follow me guys whatever I'm doing on the painting I'm gonna mix a little orange color so I'm gonna use the red and uh, oh no, the red and the yellow and mix it with white more okay, and guys if you like my tutorials please hit like uh, add some comments and subscribe to my channel and if you want to see my paintings uh, just visit my website www.jmlesundra.com All my advice to you guys is to keep on practicing nothing beats practice okay If you are done with the flower guys, you can add more retouch, make the lines more fine. So maybe I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that off cam.
so I'll just show you how the basic on how to create the uh, flower so so that we'll know or you have the direction on how to start it so here I'm just adding layers by layers of paint uh, or colors To make the to make it more fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we are almost done. I'm gonna add more orange for the for the shades so I think I'm gonna add this area and also this part and this Okay, gonna blend it well. Okay. So I'm gonna need to add more layers and layers and layers until it become more fine to this painting. So I think I'm gonna do it off cam. So later I'm gonna show you show you the finished product. So this this one is just the pointers on how to or the guide on how to on how you locate the the flower on how you paint the flowers. So. For now, I'm still adding lots of layers. Okay. I think we're almost done with the, with the layers of the flowers but still not convinced. <laughs> I'm gonna put some on the on the fallings. So I'm gonna need to add more um, details here. Okay. Um, using the number zero round brush, I'm going to add uh, the red pollens here. So I'm going to use the red. A little yellow to make it a little orange. Okay. 
just five small circles okay Okay. We're using the orange, the blue and the yellow. I don't know, the red and the yellow. So I'm going to add more details on the pollen. and more yellow and white Okay, I'm almost done, so I'm gonna need to add more retouch, add more details here. I'm gonna use the black and a little red. It's not a plain black guys, I, I add a little color on it. So I'm gonna need to add more retouch. Again I'm gonna use the number four number four black brush. I'm gonna use the red gonna make this part more solid in red So I'm just I'm just glazing guys adding more layers to make the color more or become solid and add more orange okay now add it here more red ok 
Okay. And this all in steam. clean the brush and I'm adding some more details in the on the petals adding more yellow and white okay Okay. So I'm just um, adding more layers on the petals, guys, to make the color more solid. I want to add more, so more retouch in this part. To make more solid red. Okay, I think I'm almost done. So I think I'm gonna retouch the background. I'm gonna add uh, more lips, but uh, a blurry lips. Or lips. So I'm gonna mix the green and the red, more yellow and white. Okay. I'm going to add more leaves on the on the background. So I'm going to add it here. more yellow and 
कोई तो आज मोर डार्क सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू आज मोर डिटेल्स ऑन द लिव्स गाइस सो इट्स इट विल रिमेन अम डार्क और ब्लोरी लाइक दिस वन सो आई विल आई विल लीव इट दैट वे So it's still up to you guys if you want to to improve the leaves. It's okay. So I want to finish it in just an hour. Long videos might be very very boring. So finishing it. Faster might be a good idea. Okay, so I'm gonna need more here. Adding a little details in this one. What's this one? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna need to, to add more details, darks and shades. I'm gonna make it faster to make. Okay, black. Red. and blue so yeah I'm, I, I am adding now the the dark tones guys Okay. Okay. We add more light color here.
Okay. Okay, I'm almost done. And then I'll move here. One more. What I am doing right now, guys, is that I'm adding some dark tones to emphasize the lips or giving some depths on the on the on the leaves so I'm just adding the details for the for the leaves guys okay so I'm gonna add more This time, uh, to call this uh, light blue. Okay. More. You are actually free whatever you want to put on your background, guys. As long as you are satisfied on it. Okay, I'm gonna add more. Think on the top. If it feels drying, guys, just add a little water on your on your brush to make it wet. So that is it's not hard to to brush. Okay. 
Okay. okay. I'm almost done. So I'm gonna add more light. Light blue. Guys, if you don't understand what I'm doing on this part, so let me explain. I am adding some white um white tones to give some depth on the on the background. So I'm choosing blue. Uh let's assume that it's it's uh, misty or foggy. So that's how or what I'm doing here. So you can also choose whatever you want to do on this part. It's still all up to you as long as you are satisfied in it. I think I'm gonna need to add more retouch on our flower, flower petals. So I'm gonna need to use the light yellow. Okay. Okay, I think I think I am done. So again guys, I wanna say thank you so much for watching my videos. So please um subscribe for more videos in the future. And for this video please hit like or give some comments or you can suggest. And if you wanna see my my other paintings you can you can visit my website www.jmlisondra.com for more paintings so thank you so much guys and have a good day